I'm Stephanie. I'm a trainee clinical scientist in gastrointestinal physiology. So I went to university and I studied biochemistry and molecular medicine. I knew that I wanted to be involved in healthcare in some way. I wanted to be involved uh, with patients and working with patients. And it was at university where I got an email sent around about this course called the Scientist Training Programme. Uh, it sounded great. You got to work in a hospital while studying still at the same time. You get to do a master's in clinical science whilst you're working. Uh, you, you're working with patients from day one. It sounded brilliant. So I applied for that and was lucky enough to get accepted. We get sent patients that have problems anywhere along their gastrointestinal tract, it's functional problems. So you can get your, your cancers or ulcers, but we look at problems with the function of the gastrointestinal tract, so that how the muscle action works when you, every, all of your muscles are supposed to pass food and water through nicely and it's supposed to contract in what's called a peristaltic motion. But for a lot of people, that muscle activity doesn't work how it should do. And we can do tests on patients. So in the video, you can see the practitioner talking to the, to the patient, explaining the test. They put some local anaesthetic in the patient's nose to help numb the area. And then a tube's passed into the patient's nose, down their food pipe or their esophagus, into their stomach. The tube goes into the nose and not through the mouth down into the stomach because the angle of passing the tube is easier through the nose. It's a wider angle in order for it to go down into the food, food pipe. It will sit there for about 10 minutes while some measurements are being taken, which you may be able to see on the screen. The measurements are pressures of the esophagus, which in a normal person should all be coordinated. The pressures should be higher in places in order to push food down the esophagus into the stomach. But in some patients, the pressures can be really high or really low or not coordinated. And as a result, food might not be passed into their stomach properly or things are coming back up from the stomach into their esophagus, which can cause symptoms like heartburn and indigestion. And so these tests are really useful to diagnose conditions like that.